Today, we're going to discuss the framework that blew my mind when I discovered probably the most fascinating things I've ever discovered in computer science and mathematics. And it's uh, the work of a guy named uh, Ray Solomonoff, uh, who did really ingenious work, uh, which I think is highly underappreciated and should be much more um, studied, analyzed, uh, and taught. And the framework he defined is now usually known as Solomonoff induction or as algorithmic probability theory. The idea of Solomonoff is really to take seriously the ideas of computer science and of probability theory and merging them all together. And he first started to note that um, any kind of machine or even our own experiences uh, corresponds to data collection. This data can be digitalized and would correspond to a sequence of zeros and ones. So in the end, if you look at the data that we know, it's a sequence of zeros and ones. And even if you wanted to summarize all of human knowledge, uh, for instance, all of Wikipedia or all of the pictures taken in uh, astrophysics or all the experimental results in medicine, all of this would correspond to some PDFs, to some JPEGs, uh, to some uh, MP3s or MP4s. And all of this would boil down to just a sequence of zeros and ones. And even your own personal experiences, your own uh, so-called sense data, all of the data, all of the, you see with your eyes, everything that you hear with your ears, everything that you touch with your hands, all of this corresponds to activations of neurons and eventually they all boil down to essentially a sequence of zeros and ones. Now we can discuss the details of it, whether it's actually the case or not. But if you assume uh, the theory of general relativity, the fact that if you put too much information in one single place, you can get a black hole. And if you assume things like uh, quantum theory that says that uh, the energy is proportional to the frequency of a signal, well, all of this tells you that in the end, you cannot do very precise measurements in terms of uh, time uh, frames. So there's a limit in terms of the frequency of, uh, of measurements. This tells you that you can always boil down things to essentially a sequence of zeros and ones. At least this is an idea that seems to be getting more and more popular, and that's at least the framework that Solomonov worked on. He assumed that we had some data that was just a very long sequence of zeros and ones. And then essentially the question that he raised is given these long bits of zeros and ones, even given the, all the data that we've collected, what should we believe in? And the other thing that uh, Solomonov did is to give a lot of importance to computational rules, which are essentially the patterns that we're trying to describe, at least that was, that's what I argued in a previous video. And if you give a lot of importance to these computational rules, then it's tempting to search for theories that try to explain the data in a computable manner. In particular, Solomonov got interested in all computational rules, uh, the set of all computational rules that govern some data. Well, actually, he did something a bit more social than this. Instead of focusing on deterministic prediction rule, given that the data is always a bit messy, he argued that we should instead focus on probabilistic computational rules. That, that is, computational rules that don't predict a sequence of zeros and ones exactly, but instead predict uh, that each sequence of zeros and ones is, given, is associated with a given probability. And so you can think of the framework of Solonov as trying to explain the world with computable theories, and he's going to take into account all computable theories that make probabilistic predictions about the data. And now, given all the data that we've collected, which is just a sequence of zeros and ones, he argued that we should apply the Bayes rule to determine which theories are the most believable, which computational rules should be the ones that we should give our credences to. And that's really Solomonoff's induction in a nutshell. You consider all probabilistic computable theories and you apply Bayes rule to determine how believable the different theories are. This is called Solomonoff induction and it's absolutely brilliant. It's really the most natural thing to do if you give importance to probability theory and to the idea of computational rules and the importance they have to make predictions. And a lot of people have argued, and I would argue as well, that this is the ultimate framework to make predictions. If you want to do make prediction, consider all computable probabilistic theories and apply Bayes rule given all the previously collected data to determine what 
ought to be believed in. Now this all sounds good and nice, but there's actually a bit of a problem with uh, applying this, at least a criticism, a recurrent criticism, namely the problem of uh, defining the prior probability in the given theories. And I am going to discuss this at length in a future video, but just to give you an idea of how beautiful the ideas of uh, Solomonov is, you can prove that as long as we try to set up a prior on all computable probabilistic theories out there, and they are countable, so that's really quite uh, easy to do in uh, mathematically at least. It uh, doesn't pose any mathematical weird problems like things with continuity and uh, Lebesgue measures and stuff like that. You don't have these kinds of problems here. Plus, you can prove Occam's weather as an immediate consequence of trying to set up a prior probability on the set of all computable probabilistic theories. And also, we shall see in the future videos that if you just do it in a basic way, you're going to obtain very beautiful so-called completeness theorems about the quality of your predictions.